Let's begin by opening one of the NI provided examples. Open the example finder and in the search field enter format into. Format into scanned from file is the example we're going to work with. Start on the RefNum tab and run the VI. Let's observe what we have here. We have on the left side a path input, a string, a boolean, numeric, and a timestamp. On the right hand side we have the values that have been read back. We have again the red path, the string, the boolean, the numeric, and the time. And notice that if we manually change these values and we run it again, we again see the result. Let's take a look at the block diagram. Again, in the RefNum case, observe the behavior is very similar to what we saw in the previous example. We have first the writing to file and secondly the reading from file. They've been put together in this example. Turn on our context help just to confirm that this is our open create replace file. It's being set to replace or create a file. Then we have our format into file. Then we close the file. We open the file again, scan from file, and close it. So we separate the writing action from the reading action. Now let's take a closer look at the format into file function. It's an expandable function, meaning you can drag this down to add as many inputs as you wish. Notice again how it has a refnum connected as the input. That can also be a path directly connected. We have the error being connected in through the chain from the open create replace file and out again to the close file. Now let's observe what's actually happening here. All of our different input controls, the path, the string, the boolean, the numeric, and the timestamp, are connected each to one of the terminals here. Again, this is expandable, so we could add a new piece of information if we so desired. Or we could put in a second copy of any of the existing ones. Observe the very convenient behavior, which was the input automatically formats based on the type of data which has been connected to it. If we connect an i32, it knows it and it formats it accordingly. So, despite the fact that we're connecting a variety of different pieces of information, that information is automatically formatted correctly. Because it's been formatted correctly, we can of course read it back again. The second function is the scan from file function. This performs the opposite action of taking all the information out of the file and putting it back into the appropriate data types so that we can connect to our indicators. Observe also that this is an expandable function so that it can be dragged down to have as many outputs as required. And it also takes its data type automatically. Notice how there is nothing telling this first output that it is of a path type except the fact that it's connected to a path indicator. It's inheriting the type from the data which is connected to its output. If we were to disconnect that, we would see how it defaults to be a double precision float. And if we were to create an indicator for that, we would see it here. This is of course going to cause a problem because that is not the type of data which is being written to the file. So although this is very convenient, we must be very careful to only extract the data which we know to be present in the data in the first place. We have the ability to enter a default value for each of the outputs here. Most of them are unwired. It's not necessary to connect a default value. However, for the timestamp, since it is essentially a numeric data type, we must tell the scan from file that it's not simply a double, but that it is in fact a timestamp. We do that by using this default value and connecting it to a wire of the correct type. Since we know this wire contains the input, we know it is the correct type. If we were to connect a default value which was incorrect, for example, if we were to try and connect the timestamp wire to the string output, the default data type is going to override the data type of the connected indicator and we get as a result a broken wire. In essence, the format into file and scan from file are very powerful tools that allow us to easily write lots of different data into the same file and again pull it out. The problem of course is that we must be very careful when handling our data files 
to only scan from files data types which match the types that we have written to.